Okay, I wanted to talk about this Koidak CO8040 watt 54 LED super bright uh, stage light that I got. It's actually way overkill for what I wanted. What I wanted, um, and I'm going to use it and I like it, what I wanted was um, some background lighting. I wanted something that I could set for my YouTube videos for some background lighting for some reds and blues and things just to make make it more interesting. Also going to use this for Halloween, Christmas, and just playing around in general. I have two kids and tonight we actually set it to turn on to the music and we turned some music on really loud. We were kind of messing around, dancing, and um, I turned all the lights off and I'll tell you, it actually made me a little bit sick because it was so powerful. In a small room with no other lights on, with the strobes on, this thing will <laughs> rock your world. It, I actually didn't even like it. I had to turn it off, but I got it for, to, for the soft colors. If you noticed on those little LED covers there, in the, uh, there's 60 of them, uh, 60 LED, 60 watt, 54 LEDs. If you notice that there are little um, diffusers on each one of them. So each one of these kind of diffuses the light. So if you try to, if you try to add something here, um, and it won't really make a shadow, it'll kind of just spread out. The light will kind of spread out, which is really what I wanted. I wanted to be able to add kind of like a mixture of lights, but this is so um, diffuse that it just kind of mixes as it goes out. It's really intended for, of course, DJs and, you know, stage presences and things like that. Not exactly intended for what I needed it for, but it's still going to work. Okay, so I really like it. It's super powerful, and I'll show you that in a second, but the power cord is really short. So the, fir the first thing you're going to need is an extension, extension cord. This thing won't reach anywhere. It's probably like four feet or less. Okay, another weird thing is I keep thinking it's upside down. I expect this to be on the bottom, and every time I put it on the other side, I notice the controls are, are um, on the top, or well, they, actually they should be on the bottom. So you have the menu, the up and the down, and then the enter. Um, for the most part, you, can, you don't need any controls or anything. You can kind of figure out what's going on. Um, it does have a DMX controller, so I, I don't know much about that, but I think that's so you can cr control it remotely. I don't need that. Um, this is not a thorough, this is not a thorough review of this item. I'm just telling you what I got it for and what I use it for and how I use it. Okay, so if you, I have it turned on now, I have it uh, hooked to an extension cord as I mentioned. Um, you have your menu over here and you get your you may not be able to see this because of the way uh, the flicker rate goes, but I have an ace. It starts at, let's start at the beginning. It starts at A1, and then when you're on setting A1, um, you can kind of tell what it's doing just by leaving it there. And then you have an up and a down. So if I go up, A104, A105, A106, A107, you're basically getting different colors. And these are static and um, they stay the same pretty much. So we are at A1, we go to A2, and we see it kind of automatically just changes colors. You can still go up and down, and I think that changes the speed of which the colors change. So you can go A1 to like A32, I mean A2 to A201 to A232, and it changes the speed at which they change colors. Now, um, I'm not going to use most of these features unless we're just playing around, you know, we're having like a Halloween party or something. But A3 is where what we've got here is where the colors change for you. If you can see, it's turning like a bright red. And I think it will um, merge into a dimmer red and change colors. So if we go to 14, we got a a blue or purple and it's getting brighter and brighter. I think if we stay with it, it will dim. There's, there is an instruction manual and I don't want to get into great detail, but um, you can get what you want to happen just by hitting the menu keys and messing around with it. 
we go to A4. This, I think, is where you need music. See how it responds? It's a very responsive, and that's what I was telling you earlier is what made me, made me kind of sick, to be honest with you. It was just too much, too much power in one small room. It's like a, staring at a strobe light, which, I mean, that's what it is, really. There's your regular strobe. Halloween or something like that. You can, you can set the speed. Um, I think you could actually trigger some uh, epileptic seizures with that. Um, A6, I think this is where it cycles through the colors on its own. It'll go from all the different colors. And then, of course, it also has settings. Uh, maybe not. And then A7. Um, it looks like that's just different colors again. Then we have red. And you can change um, the different intensities of the reds and blues. And it, there's before I turn it around, there's red, green, and blue. Let me go all the way through that again. See, we're, we're at red 18 right now. And it, what it does is it mixes. When I'm holding down the button, it basically mixes the different lights to get different colors. So we're at red. Now we'll go to green. I'll hold down the up or down button. And it basically changes the, the mixtures of the colors to get different values. And you can basically just pick whatever color you like. I don't ever see there being a need for an exact color or the, like say millions of colors, but you won't, you won't really know. Now there's some other D settings. I think that's what, that's where you have a controller, the, the D con DMX controller. Now let's take a look at the actual light itself and see how powerful it is. Here we have a blue. You can kind of get a feel just by looking at the video. If you were to stare straight into this, you're going to wish you hadn't. It really hurts to stare into that. I mean, it's just blinding. These LEDs, and it's not hot at all. There's no heat. You can hear a fan. It's going, you can just barely hear it. Let me put it to the microphone. You can barely hear it, but it feels like you're handling a flashlight. It's basically a glorified flashlight. <laughs> Very powerful one. Um, it's kind of plasticky, you know, it doesn't, it's not heavy. It doesn't feel super, super heavy. It's not metal or anything. Um, but here's some sample lighting. It's an idea of a light green when it mixes some whites in with the greens. Some blues and greens, reds. You know, different combinations will give you pink. That actually looks like pink. So we've got red and blue on right now, but what does that really give you? A pink. That's how it comes up with so many colors. And so let me start turning some lights off and we can see what the colors look like. Every time I watch a video, it looks so mushy. You know, once you get to the lighting, the colors look mushy. Let me see if I can focus here. Here we're at about 10 feet. So if I wanted a green background, say I wanted a green background in my video, I would take some cardboard or anything to make a mesh and I can kind of make a color mix. This is what I want for my background. It's kind of a mix. You know, I would play with this and it wouldn't be nearly as strong as that, but I would add the color that way. Um, I can hide as much or as little as I want using a, uh, some kind of screen. So as a rough example of why I got this, um, here's an example of in my background, I might have some books and I want to highlight them. Um, way behind me and I this is exaggerated and you know those boxes shouldn't be there and all that but here's how I make the books kind of stand out or look different or look a little um, you know a little more interesting 
So here I have a green and you know I can dim that as much as I want with the cardboard. Just so you might get some interesting you know viewpoints. Suppose suppose I wanted a pink or something. You know that'd be kind of cool if it was in the, your background video if you have these books that are kind of all sorts of different colors. Here's another example where I have the light hidden and I have a kind of a spotlight just shooting up and you know you can pick any color you want. I just picked green and I have it partially covered. You can have it bright or um, dim as you want or sharp or as, um, whatever you want. But it's just something to add some color in the background. You know I really like lighting. Finding that I'm more and more watch videos, YouTube videos, and you can dim that by adding more light white light to it also. Um, I'm liking the videos that have the coolest lighting or the most interesting looking scenery and backgrounds you know so there's that and there's also you can use the light to highlight your item or your face or something like that. So if for example you were doing some kind of scene and this is really rough I just threw this together but you wanted to add some something interesting a different color to the side of the face to kind of make everything just more interesting you maybe not even notice it um, but a light like this could do that and that's what I got it for um, I also shoot videos for my kid she has a YouTube channel and so I try to highlight her hair and make different colors make her her videos a lot more about fun stuff um, kid stuff so I just try to make her videos real interesting even if her hair is orange one day or green one day or there's or she, their entire video is green one day. I use the light for that just to make it more interesting. Anyway, I hope this helped you.